right guys and good morning it's Nancy here and we are out front of the senior center it is a very brisk kind of windy fall morning um, but I thought today might be a good day for us to do a little bit of a tour take you inside show you what the senior center looks like now because we have made a few changes inside um, and also to give you an idea of what you might expect when you start coming back to programs with us next month so I guess first things first let's mask up and go inside Okay, so the first thing you're going to notice in between our front doors is that there is a hand sanitizer dispenser with a little sign asking you to sanitize your hands. Please do so, um, and once you have done that, the next step is to go for your COVID screen. So just inside the front doors, you're going to notice that we have some directional signage on our mats, and the signage is going to direct you over um, in all likelihood to our office here, where we will ask you a few quick questions about how you're feeling, your travel history, just generally those same questions you're probably hearing at a lot of different places. Once you pass your, your COVID screen, you are more than welcome to either take care of the business that you need to here at the office with uh, one of us, or to go on to your program space. And you will see that we do have social distancing markers on the floor here, as well as some directional signage. So here's our lounge, um, you know, quite a meeting and greeting place before COVID hit. And while we hope it will return to its former glory one day, um, for right now, we are um, trying to enforce social distancing and minimize use of our lounge as much as we can. So you will notice that a couple of our love seats are missing. We have just simply placed those into storage for the time being um, so that we can better space out the chairs that we have here. Um, so that if you are going to be sitting in the lounge, you're going to be at a safe distance from others while doing so. So of course, sanitizer in every room of the building, readily accessible, and we encourage you guys to use it. So over here in our library, um, the library is something that's going to be coming back this fall with some restrictions, of course. So we're following the same sort of course of action with our library that um, a lot of grocery stores are doing. So in other words, don't pull something off the shelf if you really don't intend to take it home and borrow it because everything that you do touch, we do have to put into quarantine for a period of time before we can reshelf it. So um, we do encourage our folks to use the library. So our library is gonna be open Thursdays and Fridays, um, starting I believe October 7th and 8th. Um, if you have library books or puzzles or other items that you had borrowed before COVID that you want to return, this is the bin where you're going to put all your returns. We ask that folks don't take any um, books out of those bins as those bins are gonna be put into quarantine until it's um, safe for those books to be returned to the shelf. While we are not accepting donations of new books or new additions to our library at this time, um, what we will have is all our regular library will be open. The puzzles are still available. You can borrow them, you can take them home. Again, just like the books, they are gonna be held in quarantine or 72 hours after being returned before being reshelved. Um, so once uh, books have cleared quarantine, they'll be put on this cart and our volunteer for the library will um, put them back on the shelf. So we're in the gym right now, our upstairs auditorium, and one of the things that we have done um, to try and make it a little safer and more comfortable for you guys to come back to programs here is that we have shifted as many of our programs as we can into these larger spaces so that you guys can spread out as much as possible. Um, so in the background here, I don't know if you can see, there's card tables and chairs set up right now. Um, just to give you an idea of how far apart things are spaced, you'll see on the floor that we have used um, masking tape to tape off the floor just to give a visual representation of social distancing. And for your information, we have taped off at seven and a half feet social distancing in between folks instead of the recommended six feet, just to provide a little extra wiggle room and a bigger comfort zone. So that is something to know that when we release our October newsletter, which I hope to do on September 28th, just pay attention to where the programs are being offered because just because your program was in one room before, does not necessarily mean it will be in that same room. It may be in here instead, or it might be downstairs in our bowling area, or it might be in another room in the building altogether. Um, something else we've done is uh, we, we have to build in some extra time into the day to allow for some 
cleaning, wiping down, sanitizing, disinfecting in between programs. So we have done that and what that means, sorry, my little, my mask is a little slippery on my little face shield here. So what that means is that your, your classes might be a little shorter, um, but you're still gonna get really good, really fun, really informative classes. Um, we just may have to shorten them up a little bit on either end so that we have enough time to do all that extra cleaning and wiping down and sanitizing, which ultimately just makes things safer for you guys. Something else that you will notice in every room and program space that we have um, is the appearance of disinfecting wipes and hand sanitizer. Um, obviously, everyone will be sanitizing their hands before they come into the building, um, but we're also encouraged, encouraging folks to sanitize their hands before they leave as well. Um, in some cases, we will be asking you to um, use a wipe to wipe down a table or a chair that you may have been using during a program. Um, uh, we will also be following up. Staff will be doing some wiping down and disinfecting of these items after the fact. Um, so it's kind of like a double layer of protection just to make sure we're keeping things as clean and sanitized as we possibly can. Some other things to be aware of here at the Senior Center, you'll notice that there are plexiglass barriers at our volunteer desk and here in the window of our main office. This is a protection for the staff as well as for the folks that are visiting us. Um, we will be keeping our office door closed um, more frequently. Again, just a, something to protect us as well as to protect you guys. Um, and uh, But you can still come, you'll still be able to see us here, you'll still be able to um, take care of your, your business, whether it's registering for programs or making payments. Um, as regards payments, um, we will continue to accept cash or checks for payment for programs and activities. However, please note um, that because we have been shut down for six months, we will not really have the ability to make change for folks. So if you are coming to pay for something, we do prefer checks at this point, um, or if you know the total that you are going to be paying, if you can please bring exact change, that would really help us out, at least for the first few months, until we get um, a little more used to having uh, cash on hand here again. Okay, so as you know, we are starting in October um, with a very, very few, very scaled back monthly calendar. And that's going to sort of continue um, and be continuously evaluated as the local situation goes on. As long as numbers remain stable or as the province makes new decisions as far as, you know, um, gathering numbers and, and social distancing and mask wearing, anything like that um, that comes down, we will take into consideration and we will look at adding more programs as we are able. So please keep on top of the monthly newsletter. Please check our website, TilsonburgSeniorCenter.com. You can always call us at 688-2520 if you have any questions. Um, if you don't see your particular program right now, because I know we have some very anxious card players and people who play board games and, and our choir, I'm sure would love to be back. We will, we, we want to bring those programs back as well. So we will be doing it as soon as we feel it is safe and responsible to do so. Right now though, we're starting with what we know we can manage and what is safe and reasonable. And let's just keep our fingers crossed that numbers stay low locally and people continue to do what they need to do. And we look so forward to welcoming you back here. Um, by the time you come back, there will be someone new in the program coordinator seat. Um, I hope you will join me in welcoming Natalie Moretto, who is going to be filling Nikki's um, chair while she's taking her leave of absence. We're gonna have some fun. It's gonna be different. It's definitely gonna be a new normal but we are really looking forward to getting things um, back in motion here and we look forward to seeing you guys and please um, come out and see us, please be patient and we'll see you in October. Bye now.